Okay, so this guy here, you can see that he's got a, a sad face. In order to create a sad face, you drop down the eyebrow on the outside on both ways. See how it comes down? So it's to create that platform, if you can do the same thing here, if you can kind of drop it down on the outside, in order to do that, maybe for some of you, you might want to uh, raise it in this area here. Okay, so to create that, just we're just going to create the shape of the uh, the top of the the eye, if you will. So the eyebrow is it. So you drop that down on the outside, both sides. And then after that, we're going to create a platform in here in order to make the eye. And a lot of people make the mistake of having the bottom part of the eye too high. So in order to solve that, what I do is I take a V-tool and I make a flat surface in there all the way across before I even set my eye. So I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, and do that. I'll get a, a V-tool in there and just give it a shape. Alright, so there it is with the, the flat surfaces on both sides. Hard to see uh, exactly how flat it is in a camera, but that gives you kind of the idea. Once again, it slopes down on the outside and a little bit higher in the middle and a bit more of a hollow towards the nose. All right, so now we got to decide on what kind of an eye we're going to put in there. So, I'll so establish the the width of the nose or the width of the eyes by creating a dot on both sides so that looks like that and then establish how big you want the eye to be and drop the outside point of the eye down try and get them the same width the across and by making, giving him a sad eye, we're going to move the, the top dot in close. In close. So then it's just a question on the top ones. It's a straight line to join them together. So it looks something like that. And then to create the, the bottom arc that I need, I just put my hand on, the, on his head and then by rotating the pencil, that gives me the, the arc on the bottom that I need. It's not quite straight. All right, I'll pass this around. There we go. We've got a recording there now. There. So in order to make the complete the eye, we're going to make a little stop cut, continue this cut on the outside corner of the eye, and just bring it out just a little wee bit. And that by removing this little chip in here, what you do is you make the bottom eyelid fit underneath the top eyelid. It's important that the, you give that illusion that the, the top eyelid actually fits over top of the bottom lid. So you take a little bit of material, so a little bit of a straight cut in the corner of the eye and then take that little chip out. A little bit difficult to see there. And then we're going to do the eyelids and I use a small V tool this is a, a flex cut and uh, I don't know about a three millimeter, two millimeter and this works fine for me. So I'm going to do the top eyelid and I'm going to start in with a bit of space between where I had that little cut and I'm going to turn the V on its side so I get a flat area against the, the eyelid and I'm going to remove a bit of the material on the top and that creates the 
the top eyelid. And the bottom eyelid is very, very narrow. So I'm going to use, again, turn the V tool a bit on its side, and I'm going to come straight across. Remove that little chip. Now I turn it upside down, and I want to come end up right where I put that little notch in underneath. So that gives me the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid. To continue that out in order to make the, the smile line, just take a little notch out of the side with your V-tool and that will create the, the edge of the eye. Okay, I'll pass this around. So in order to create a mouth, I like to keep it up a little bit higher than normal and I have a straight line. So everybody wants to have a, a crooked mouth on the one side so just kind of as the picture is. So we'll bring this out and bring that down just a little bit. Now you can make the mouth as big or as small as you want. To me that looks a little bit small so I'm going to extend that a little bit more. Or more or less like that. So draw it on first. And the same as what we did with the eye, make sure you've got a good sharp knife, a nice point on it. And we're gonna in that if you're once you're happy with that, you gotta be happy with your pencil mark. Once you're happy with that, then a straight up and down cut all the way through there. And I will come just past halfway. and push it in pretty good. I don't particularly like that on this side as I look at it. That's the best part of having a pencil mark. You can change it. I want to bring that over a little bit further. That looks a bit better. So now I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to turn it upside down. Am I still in? There. And straight up and down and then following that same mark it's going to be a curve this time. Push in the knife. Three good jabs to put it in. So basically all I've done is put a stop cut in all the way around. Okay. I'll do the top lip first and then uh, we'll pause and then I'll do the bottom lip. So the trick here is, now that I've got that stop cut in, is to put the tip of the knife on the, at the outside cut and then bring the heel down so it lands at the center line. So I'll demonstrate that. So a little bit of an angle, we'll say about a 45 degree angle or less. So put the tip of the knife in and bring the heel down. Not quite enough. Looks like I need a little bit more lip. There, can you see that? And then the same thing on the other side, but this is a curve, so you got to manipulate it a little bit. Where are we? But again, stop at that center line. So can you see that now? I'll stop it and I'll pass it around. All right, so the next uh, thing is you've got to make two little cuts, little triangular cuts. And uh, I'll do the one upside down here. Uh, where's the head? There. And I'm going to remove a little triangle in the corner of the mouth and the bottom lip. a little bit deeper. Not a very clean cut. Get out of there. 
All right, so that drops the corner of the mouth down. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. It's not as severe because the, the mouth drops there. Look that pencil mark. So one in each corner. And what that allows you to do then is it creates a platform for that bottom lip to sit. So I'm going to lay it on the knife on about a 45 degree angle and I'm going to create the bottom lip by a straight cut parallel uh, right across that center line and remove that piece there. And then a little bit on either side. And I'll pass this around. I'm going to use a high sided gouge. This happens to be a number 11 4 millimeter. I want to make the bottom lip bulbous. I want it to stick out just kind of the way it is in the diagram, but I want to remove the wood below the lip to make it again make the lip stand out. So to do that, you you need a gouge. A, a, a knife would work, but a gouge works better. So what you do is when you you put your your gouge in that little hole that we created, that little triangle, and now we're going to we're going to move it down, we're going to move it down, and then across. So down and then across. Okay? So keep away from the bottom lip. You can always come back and trim it up. So you see how that creates that bottom lip? By removing the wood down below it. And the more wood you take out, the more bulbous it looks. So we came down and around, so we're going to do the same on the other side. I got it turned upside down in order to do that. So I put it in that little triangle and then remove the wood down and then around. So can you see how that's so bulbous now? The whole idea here is to rough it out to get it cleaned out and, and all everything down underneath here. So I'll just spend a bit more time here just dressing that up just a little bit. So now you've got a, a sharp edge there, so just remove the sharp edge. Yeah, in the picture it does look like a tongue, doesn't it? So you can play around with that however you want, but basically that's the, uh, the design we want. Now I like to do a, a little bit extra. This is a Marv Kaiserstadt innovation and I put another stop cut in here and I'm going to take a little bit of a chip out of there. And that just gives them that kind of a, an attitude. Get rid of my pencil line. And one last thing before I finish, you got to create the snot trough, which is that little hollow that comes down and it separates one lip, the, one, the top lips on one side to the other. And by using a gouge, simply by starting at the, the top lip and pushing it up and removing it, you create that little hollow in there, that little hollow in there for the snot trough. And you can dress it up a little bit after that. Okay, so let's, uh, you want to fool around with this some more, I, I would take, a, what's this, a number seven, uh, six millimeter, and turn it upside down, and you can work this around, and, and it helps to smooth out and give you a better shape. Um, 
a knife does it fine. Uh, you might want to use a, a smaller gouge, something that fits in a little bit better. But uh, play around with it a little bit if you want. Um, that same gouge could be worked down below. Uh, I have a, a different gouge that I use. And uh, remove a little bit of material on either side underneath towards the smile line, leaving the chin area. And a chin it can be whatever shape you want to have it. Uh, what do you call that when they have the little cleft. cleft in their cleft in their chin? You could put a cleft in the chin, but uh, work it around and I, I like to leave a little bit of a ball in there so that uh, you can uh, play around with it a bit. Okay, so then that's kind of like that, and then there's no sharp edges on a face, so get up here and uh, round that over. Depending on how much of a vulvar section you want in, in here for the high cheek, um, you can play around quite a bit with that. Don't be afraid to, to mess around. And if he's thin, you want to knock that down quite a bit. Uh, it all depends on what expression you want to create. Just remember that the expression on a face is basically from the eyebrows out to the side of the face down to the chin. And that's it right there. You get, the, get the, just this section here is the key part. The nose make it more bulbous. Uh, you can undercut it uh, to make it hang out, make it look like it's dropping over. Uh, just come in and take out a little bit of material underneath. That makes it drop over uh, there. So you can see with it where the profile is. You want to give him um, a little bit more of a bridge in his nose. You you knock it in a little bit more there, and so on. So just get one profile, get the other profile, and uh, make sure that you're comfortable with it. The chin. If he's a skin guy, skinny guy, then you hollow out more in in here. If he's you want to leave him a kind of a fat face, well then you leave it more bulbous on both sides. Uh, everything is skinny and long or spread out so that you create the fat face. So there's, it's whatever expression you want to get, those, but those are the, the main features, the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. Okie dokie. One more thing I'd like to... Uh, point out to you and that is if you look at the profile on the diagram you'll see that we have to remove some more material underneath here and that chin then becomes a little bit more pronounced a little bit more bulbous and uh, so depending on how much material you want to remove in there uh, will determine the amount of chin that we're going to create. But that, I leave that until I get the rest of the body shape because I don't know where that neck is going to work in with the shirt and, the, and the, the flat part of his chest. Now the other thing is the head um, is completed uh, as far as the face is concerned, but the, uh, it's obvious that you can play around quite a bit with the hat. Now the hat is going to be, uh, in the diagram, I thought was a bit crooked. Well, you've got that option to make it crooked. If you want to have this side high, then you move the, the hat up so that it's higher. 
and then curved down and the peak at the back then will naturally be turned a little bit as well. But if you want it straight, that's fine too. But we'll work on that when we work on the ears. Once we get the ears set the way we want it, then the hat will follow. The ears are the next most important part. The hat is just window dressing.